Most of us live in an I'm fine world. We go about our lives doing our best and hoping that's good enough. But there are things about our lives we wish we could change. Things that disappoint us, challenge us, make us angry or sad, or just plain don't work about our lives. Relationships seem to follow the same old predictable patterns with our partners and our children, with our loved ones. And no matter how hard we try, often we find ourselves doing the same things that were done to us and find ourselves in relationships much like our parents. And although we try to make sense of things, our emotions seem to have a mind of their own. It seems really hard to be our best selves. Ever wonder why the same things seem to play out over and over in life? The answer starts with an old adage, the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. Most of our emotional patterns, feelings, moods, and attitudes are handed down through our family. And we find ourselves treating our children and loved ones with the patterns we experienced in our family of origin. Patterns relating to the way we deal with anger, or sadness, or patterns of being driven by ambition and success. That's easy enough to see, right? But somehow, even though we see it, we can't seem to change it. We might even say, I sound just like my mother or like my father. And yet we seem to have no way to do anything different. The good news is that this is learned behavior and what was learned can be unlearned. It turns out that the process of passing these patterns down has a lot to do with love, or more accurately, the lack of love. In order for babies to truly thrive, they need a deeply felt sense of love, connection, and belonging. In other words, a healthy parent-child bond. The thing is, even the best parents can't be there every moment. We have all kinds of demands on our time, and sometimes bad things happen to parents. Death, divorce, abandonment, financial crisis, addictions. In any case, it's just not possible to be present in a loving way all the time. As helpless babies and young children, losing love and connection is terrifying, and we're desperate to reconnect. Our survival depends on it. So we try to reestablish our emotional connection, the parental bond. We look up to our parents and we unconsciously mirror them as if to say, look, now I'm like you. Now do I belong? Now do you love me? We absorb everything indiscriminately, all the good things that we learn from our parents and their painful, hurtful emotional patterns. And we play out these patterns again and again in our adult lives at nauseam. We carry and use these dysfunctional emotional patterns to try to get love, especially when we feel disconnected. And yet these very same patterns set us up to get the opposite of what we truly want. Even if as children we knew how hurtful these patterns were, and even if we tell ourselves things like, when I grow up, I never want to be like him, or I'll never marry someone like him. We find ourselves time and time again playing out these self-sabotaging patterns with the same unwanted results and being attracted to people with patterns like the ones from our family. Even if we rebel against them and we build a life that looks very different on the outside, on the inside, it feels much the same. We tell ourselves we'll be different and we have many ideas and strategies about how to be better. Yet sadly, we find ourselves saying, I married my mother, or I'm a workaholic just like my father, or depression runs in my family. But remember, negative love patterns are learned behaviors and thus can be unlearned. At Hoffman, we have a process designed to identify these patterns and free us from the grip they have on our lives. In our one-week program, you'll learn to become aware of your patterns, to express the feelings behind them, and then to find forgiveness and compassion for yourself and your family. This, in turn, 
opens you to your innate wisdom along with your capacity and ability for greater love. After the Hoffman process, you'll be able to pause and make a positive, authentic choice. When you're able to pause and see the pattern, it loses its power over you and a whole new world of love, dignity, and connection opens up for you and the people you care about. If you're facing troubles in your relationships, or if you've hit a block in your career, or you'd just like to feel better about yourself and about life, and you want to have more love, connection, and inner peace. When you're serious about change, check out the Hoffman Process to see if it's right for you.